Well, I got it all out. So, <clears throat> next step will be to take the transmission off and take all the front cover off and the timing belts and all that fancy jazz. So, it sucks, man. This is so brand new. I did such a good job putting it together, I thought. I really don't know. It, that, that's the, the sucky thing is like, you don't know what caused it, so you can't correct it. You don't know if it's the tune, if it's the timing, if it's the fuel, if it's because the motor was was so brand new, like no miles, did it not have any wear in it, and putting too much heat to it caused the rings to touch. Who the frick knows, so. Just sucks, but it's out. We shall move forward. Well, I got the heads off, and there's the block, and you can see the damage. Oh yeah, that's tough. Let me get a flashlight. <clears throat> we'll look down here. These would be your front bank, front bank of cylinders as a, as it sits in the car. But basically, uh, as ironic as it is, this is the cylinder that died on my last engine. So I'm wondering if maybe there's a problem with an injector or something. But this piston over here, it didn't have any failure. But I noticed it looked like it's getting hot up here on the top. And the same over here, same over there, so it broke. But a piece came out of here and ended up somehow getting over here into this cylinder. I guess it made its way through the exhaust port somehow. And then it made a little tiny nick right there in the piston. <clears throat> this one here cracked too. I noticed that, that's broken right at the ring land. I was thinking maybe the ring, the ring gap or the ring land, uh, you know, touched and pushed up. I just don't know. Come over here to this side. That one's okay. That one's okay. And that one's okay. But I am getting heat towards the top. Same for there. Same for there. You can tell. Don't really understand that. If anybody else understands why you would get a hot spot in the upper portion of the cylinder, please leave a comment. I, I love any insight I can. Um, right now with the way it's going, since that's the J35A4 block, I have a J32A2 piston here. And I have probably 18 of these that are in good shape. I got so many J32 blocks, it ain't funny. Um, I thought about just taking these pistons and putting it in this block, but I've noticed that the design of this piston is a slight, very slight, but it is a dome right there in the center where these are just pretty much flat <clears throat> all the way across, but the valve cuts are in the same location. So don't really know, but, um, might test that theory out, do a little bit of research. We'll see what we do. Um, might go back in it with some hyper eutectic pistons. Might go back in it with some forged pistons. I just don't know. But I got to figure out what the problem is before I continue to, you know, do this over and over and over again. But now I'm going to go ahead and pull the oil pan off, flip the motor upside down, and get all of the uh, coolant out of it and uh, check out the bottom rotating assembly. So we have a J30A2 piston and rod, come over here, J35A4 rotating assembly. So it looks like we get a cast crank and actually cast rods compared to that. So I got the uh, engine and the head sitting there on the floor. So I just finished cleaning the surface for the oil pan and uh, just got all the old RTV off, and I'm about to bring my hone in here and just touch up all the cylinders real quick. <clears throat> got these three cylinders all honed out. Nice, pretty looking hash marks. That one looks good. 
That one looks good. You can kind of see in this one, maybe you can see it on see that that line right there. I guess that was maybe a burr on the stock ring that did that. But camera does really well on catching everything. It looks better in the camera than it does <laughs> does here. But it's actually nice and smooth. Cool. I'm gonna go ahead and knock these three out. All right, got all six cylinders all honed out. Got them looking pretty smooth. All the little blemishes are taken out of it. So I'm real happy with it. This is what the inside crankshaft looks like. So basically you get a cast crank with the J35. I like the J32 crankshaft. It looks a little bit different. I'm not sure if the J32s came with uh, forged or not. These look sort of similar, but they're not like the same color. Um, you can kind of feel the roughness. You can kind of actually tell it in the video. But it's kind of funny. You got a QR code. That's <laughs> yeah, pretty hilarious. But you come over here. That's where I got the pistons. And I checked the ring gap on the secondary ring, and it was 20 thousandths, and the top ring was 14 thousandths. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to go back with the new set and I'm going to open up the top ring gap to like 20 or 22 thou and I might open up the bottom ring gap. If it's at 20, I'll open it up to say 24, something like that. Just a little bit. Um, don't want to get too much, but I could have had a problem with the rings touching due to the high heat and <clears throat> with the peppering that went on with the pistons. Uh, let me see. Might be able to show you. Oh, let's move this. So if you can tell, right there. See, we come to the edge, and this is a nice clean edge. And as we come down, you can kind of tell you're starting to get some deformation, some melting on the side of the upper ringland, and that's that's pretty rough. Well, what this ends up doing, this pitting ended up coming off and sticking to the cylinder wall. And then that's why I had to hone it. I had to try to get all this aluminum pitting off of the steel cylinder wall. So these are all just going to be future ashtrays or wall hangers or trash magnets, whatever you want to call them. But they're no bueno. And uh, the rods, we're going to go ahead and use these. They are cast rods, but for what we're doing with it, we're not throwing extreme load to it. We're just throwing extreme RPM to it. So she's practically living in the 6,000s. Um, you know, so it is what it is. But uh, I got a list of all the stuff that I'm going to buy right there and put this thing back together. So haven't made a decision yet on forged or cast or hyper eutectic pistons, but um, I do know I need a different tuner. But I've got all my parts in here. Everything looking pretty. Asco flywheel. Street disc does great for endurance racing. Um, got the heads. I gotta have to send these off. So I'll probably do that this week. But um, that's gonna be it for this video. Unfortunately, I wish there were better news. I wish I didn't have to go through this whole process again, but it is what it is. Thank y'all for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, and if you ain't subscribed, go ahead and press that subscribe button.